Hi everyone. Right now we're on a vessel called Finn, which is an AM42 Flybridge cruiser. Just behind me you see we have one and two brand new Fiat Nef 450 marine engines. These engines are set at 450 horsepower at 3000 RPM. Now what came out of this vessel was a pair of Caterpillar 3208 engines, the V8s, set at 375 horsepower at 2800. So the installation was conducted beautifully, partly by the owner and partly by one of the installers who works alongside THT. You can see here, if I swing the camera around, we've had hard mounted on this particular vessel. We can use flexible mounts otherwise. Some beautiful hardware here in regards to mounting these engines. We've had custom exhaust risers made because you can see that we need the height and how tight they're actually tied in. Gearboxes previously were very difficult and they were straight, so we've elected this time to go for some down angle gearboxes, some ZF85As in a 2 to 1 ratio in this instance. And what that's done is that's brought the level of the engine to become quite flat across the top, whereas previously the motor was sitting on such an angle that it was very nose high and almost touching the underside. So we've really gained, if I move backwards, a lot of space in this engine room down the center and down both sides but these are brand new large fuel tanks that have been added to allow for a ridiculously long cruising I believe close to 1500 litres of fuel uh, on board this vessel you can see down the back there we have the other riser uh, which is being so tight comes up over and flicks down and underneath itself just to make sure that there is no water that does uh, ever enter back into the engine Fuel system, we always recommend a Raycor primary fuel filter, followed by the Fiat primary fuel filter with the hand primer on it, which then enters into the engine. Directly down here is the sea strainer, um, which then you can see follows this hose here and straight into the seawater pump situated just here. All of the electronics sit neatly at the front, three boxes, ECU, CAN bus converter and a relay box with switches to allow you to start the engine from within the engine room. Power steering pump is belt driven on this side here. And as I travel down to the back here, you can see these are the water discharge lines into the exhaust and down the six inch exhaust mixers there. Brand new stand tube lube lines on this here, brand new shafts. So this is an absolutely beautiful setup that's been done here. And up the top here, we have the six inch digital touchscreen panel, which allows you two pages of information, including fuel consumption at any given time. Um, and nice simple key arrangement and that's all you really need per engine we've got two there and this vessel has gone for the flexible electronic throttle con um, controls also this vessel has just been sea trialed we achieved 26 knots at 3000 rpm and cruising at around about the 20 knots with a very good fuel burn at that rate and thank you very much for watching